quite some time ago, probably a year or so, I came across a guy named Muhammad Qasim on YouTube. He claimed that Allah talked to him in his dreams since his childhood. It looked like an absurd claim to me. I didn't believe him. I thought the guy was mad or something because I never heard of or read any such thing uh, ever. So I thought that guy is mad or something, he needs help. Uh, so I avoided him uh, to avoid fitna. Uh, I thought I might fall for a fitna. Uh, but the thing kept in my mind, his dreams and his things, uh, they, they left an impact on my head. Uh, they left an impact on my heart. I kept thinking over it, but I didn't watch him much. I didn't, didn't research over him much. But such a strange thing happened to me that I desired for since my childhood. What was it? I, I still can't believe. I still can't believe. Last October, October 2017, I saw Prophet Wasallam in a dream of mine. It was a desire of mine since my childhood. But I never thought I was, I could ever be worthy of it. I was a very sinful person. I still am. I still don't think I can, I could earn it. But Alhamdulillah, it happened to me. Allah blessed me with a dream. I couldn't interpret the meaning of the dream for quite some time. I had to consult scholars. I had to read up books. I, I had to read a lot of, I had to research a lot. I was going in one direction because I was going through some crisis in my life before uh, seeing that, that dream. So I thought that dream could be about my personal life. But to my surprise, when I came up to know the meaning of the dream, several after several months of research and consulting, I was surprised that the dream was about this guy Muhammad Qasim. And Prophet told me that this guy Qasim is not lying. His dreams are true. And Allah is actually talking to him in his dreams. And Allah is actually giving him glad tidings. And Prophet is also coming in his dreams more than 300 times until now. Guys, I, I cannot explain. I cannot explain this phenomenon. But what I'm saying, I swear to Allah on this last day of Ramadan, May Allah forgive me my sins. I swear to Allah what I'm saying is truth. I have seen Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam testified for Qasim to me. I did not know, I swear to Allah, I did not know. Wallahi, I did not know Qasim until about a year ago. And no, I'm not starting a fitna. No, I have no vested interest. Allah, Allah has blessed me. Very well, Alhamdulillah. I am a software engineer by profession. You can search for me on Google, on LinkedIn, on Facebook. I have been out there for, I live in this society for 32 years now. People know me. I'm not a liar, Alhamdulillah. I have no vested interest, Alhamdulillah. I have never deceited anybody. I have no vested interest in promoting a random guy that, have, that I have never met. I'm only doing this because Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam hinted me so. And I no, feel no shame. I have my career put to risk over this cause. I have my families. I have my personality. I have myself put to risk on this cause. And I don't fear anybody, alhamdulillah. Because whatever I'm saying is truth. The purpose of this video is to go out and watch the videos of, of Muhammad Qasim and believe everything he says. Because there are glad tidings for Muslim Ummah and there are and there are instructions for Muslim Ummah to do things and rejoice for there is a great great future coming. Consider this video, consider this message of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as a glad tiding on this wonderful blessed Eid. May Allah bless the Muslims all over the world. Allahumma fill the Ummati Muhammad. Allahumma rahm Ummata Muhammad. Allahumma tajawaz on Ummata Muhammad. May you all have a blessed Eid. May Allah fulfill His promise 
with us very soon. Allahumma atina ma wa'attana ala rusulika wa la tuhzina yawm al-qiyamah innaka la tukhlifu al-mi'ad. Have a very blessed Eid. Fi manullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.